Eventually, this problem would be handled by Bum Sook's lawyer. He wanted to keep this problem as a secret, so he told Yung Chang, Tae Hun, and Wee Young to tell about what had happened according to the narrative that he had created. The narrative would go like this, they were taking an exercise together. Suddenly, Su passed out when he took a break by himself. They had deleted the video that had been recorded by Wee Young. They had also taken CCTV so there would be no evidence of what had happened. Bum Sook's lawyer also pretended to be Su Hu to tell Si Yun that Su Hu was all right and was busy taking an exercise. Bum Sook received another punishment for what he had done. His father was speechless with rage when he found out about what Bum Sook had done. He threatened to kill Bum Sook after he finished his school in Philippine and returned home. But Bum Sook didn't care about what his father said. He was worrying about Su Hu. The next day, the school had examinations. As usual, Si Yun came early to school. It was his first day of attending school after the incident that night. He was worrying about Su Hu because he hadn't heard anything from him. Su Hu even didn't attend school that day. Si Yun couldn't stay focused while he was taking his examination. As the consequence, he had many incorrect answers. But Si Yun didn't worry about it this time. He was worrying about Su Hu more than he was worrying about his examination. After he finished taking his examination, he got news from Young Yi. She told him that Su Hu was being hospitalized. She cried when she said that Su Hu's condition was critical because he was in coma. After Si Yun found out about that, he left his school and went straight to hospital to visit Su Hu. There was only Su Hu's grandmother in Su Hu's room. She was sad because Su Hu hadn't woken up. Si Yun began to cry when he saw his best friend laying weakly on bed. Bum Sook had been staying in his room. His lawyer came to tell him that Su Hu didn't die, but only fell into a coma. There was still a hope to save Su Hu. Bum Sook's lawyer asked Bum Sook to keep the incident that night as a secret or they would kill Su Hu. They needed to do that to keep Bum Siok's father's good reputation as a member of parliament. The next day, Si Yun went to Ji Sung High School. It was Young Bin's new high school. He came to that school to find Young Bin. When Young Bin arrived in his classroom, Suddenly Si Yun came and attacked him by hitting his head repeatedly on his desk. He also stabbed Young Bin's shoulder with a pen. Si Yun asked Young Bin about what happened that night. He asked if Bum Sook was the one who did it. Young Bin said he didn't know since he wasn't there. It was because his fingers were broken after being injured by Su Hu that night. Before Si Yun looked for Bum Sook, Young Bin told him that he only knew a little about what happened that night after he watched a video that was sent by Wu Young. Si Yun found out about what actually happened from that video. Even though Young Bin had nothing to do with it, Si Yun still beat him up. After that, Si Yun was looking for Wu Young. He tried to beat him up with an iron stick in his hand. Unfortunately, Wu Young had expected his movement since he was a fighter. They finally got into a fight. Wee Young looked down on Si Yun because Si Yun didn't have any fighting skill. Si Yun chose to keep fighting him. He remembered about what Su Hu taught him if he got into a fight. Unfortunately, what he had taught couldn't be learned quickly. Si Yun was attacked repeatedly by Wee Young. But with his intelligence, Si Yun managed to have the upper hand. He used Wee Young's shoelace to fight him back. Wee Young smacked a barbell instead and injured his hand. Si Yun used this moment to hit Wee Young's foot with a barbell. <laughs> Wee Young tried to find an excuse about what happened that night, but Si Yun refused to forgive him. 
He broke Leon's foot with a barbell again. Bum Sook and his father were heading to Bum Sook's school to say goodbye and inform them that Bum Sook would move to another school abroad, but suddenly, Youngie came and stopped them. She asked Bum Sook to take accountability for what he did to Su Hu. Instead of apologizing to her, Bum Sook told Young Yi that he did that because Young Yi came to his and his friend's life. He and his friends used to be happy and close to each other. But after Young Yi came to their life, Bum Sook felt excluded from his group. The teachers at Bum Sook's school had been waiting for Bum Sook and his father because they knew who Bum Sook's father was. After that, Bum Sook was taking an examination meanwhile his father was pretending to ask about the student who got severely injured. The teachers said that there was a student who got severely injured. They told him that student got injured because he passed out when he took an exercise at a gym. Bum Sook's father was glad to hear it because nobody knew that his son was the one who did it. While everyone was taking an examination, Si Yun came to school and took a fire extinguisher. He came to his classroom with a uniform that was covered with blood. His classmates and teacher were surprised to see his appearance. Suddenly, Si Yun attacked Taehan with the fire extinguisher. Bum Sook looked at him without a single fear. Yun Chan tried to help Taehan. Siyun continued to attack Taehan. After he took revenge on those two people, Siyun approached Bum Sook. Bum Sook felt helpless and regretted about what he had done. Si Yun couldn't attack Bum Sook because he still considered him as a friend. Finally, they burst into tears. Si Yun left Bum Sook on the floor without throwing a single punch on him. All students at that school were terrified by Si Yun. Some teachers tried to stop him. the school chose to keep this problem as a secret. They didn't do anything to help his friend who was in coma. After that incident, Si Yun returned to the hospital to visit Su Hu who was still in coma. Finally, Bum Sook attended a school in Philippine. At first, Si Yun was going to be put in a youth detention center because of what he had done. But after Bum Sook's father saw the video that showed how Su Hu fell into coma, he decided not to say anything about it. Finally, Si Yun moved to that school. This was the situation at Unjang High School. It was a low-ranked high school because the students there were troublemakers. When he took a sit, one of his classmates approached him. It seemed like he was the leader of a gang in that classroom. Si Yun chose to ignore him. That student was mad at him. Si 